Today's the day that we're going to be talking about teak. This table's teak. This deck is teak. The underside of this table is teak. If you're going to be working on a super yacht, you're going to be dealing with teak. Considering there are so many new crew coming into this industry that are watching these videos, I think it's pretty important to talk about how you clean it, what's involved, and why is it such a big deal. Right, let's kick it off. Okay, if you don't already know, we are in the shipyard at the moment. We've got boats being built behind us, we've got boats being fixed, we've got all sorts of warranty stuff being done, so I think it's a pretty cool time to show you as many how-to guides as I can. Super noisy, eh? I'm going inside. The reason why teak is such a mission, sometimes it can be so difficult, is just because the wood is often left untreated. Whether it's parmesan, if you like shaving parmesan, some doesn't go on your plate and it lands on the teak, you will get an oil mark. So I'm gonna show you now what the table looks like after somebody's had dinner a few times. It's not that the guests are messy, it's just teak is so susceptible to oil marks and marks in general. So let me show you, for example, what it looks like, what it's gonna look like afterwards, and how I clean teak. If you're gonna do teak quickly, you're gonna use a washing powder, a dishwashing tablet, um, stuff like that, it's got a bit of uh, um, like an acid in it and it also just washes and cleans everything. So for me, I just feel better about it as well. You can see that would just be like a watermark of water that's sat there. These little marks are all oil marks. So it could be bits of food. It could be bits of cheese for parmesan shavings. Same on the deck. That's another example of some food that's fallen down or something that's happened. Bread, anything that contains oil anything and pretty much every food has either been cooked in oil or it has something if it lands on the teak deck it's going to leave a mark you've got to be able to treat it there's a product on the market called k2r a very well-known product and pretty much any super yacht that deals in teak is going to have it on board this is like a wannabe version of it because we couldn't actually get the proper k2r and you can buy this in like most marketplaces or anything like that main stores you'll be able to get this stuff if you're in a rush and you don't have time to clean all the teak like what i'm about to do after showing you this this is a fast way of doing it. That's pretty much gotten rid of that mark, but there's no ways that I can go and do that on every single oil mark. So the fast way of doing it is just to wet down everything and use what we call, or rather what we have on board, which is Elena. Um, this is literally just dishwashing powder or washing machine powder that you would use to clean your clothing. So like nothing expensive or anything. You sprinkle it on, we'll use a doodle bug. We'll literally just scrub against the grain and make sure it looks, it looks good. Here's what you're gonna need. A hose pipe, a soft doodle bug, blue one, a harder doodle bug, brown one, a doodle bug, Ow. a doodle bug brush holder. Deck squeegee. And the main stuff, which is the Elena washing powder, it doesn't have to be Elena, it can be any one of them. I am not endorsed by Elena. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, you can sprinkle it straight on. Uh, the granules actually would get in the teak and just clean it out nicely. So it's nice just to put granulated straight on as opposed to putting it in a bucket and then doing it. The more water the better. I'll just add a little bit more water now just to mix it in with all the Elena. Now you use the doodle bug, you can just use it with your hands um, and just get in nice and deep. Remember, always against the grain. I usually don't feel like doing this process like over and over and over again. So it's kind of just easier just to go over the same table a couple of times, three, four times. Let's see how it goes, but probably, I mean, two is enough. I think it's a really nice addition to the shirt. It's like a nice, off, yellowy, orange look, you know? Afterwards, you'll see it starts to like gather this nasty layer. It's just wood pulp and stuff like that that comes off the table, which is exactly what you want. Time for a good rinsing, just get everything off. And then there's a second step, which I will show you in a minute. Um, the reason you don't go with the grain is these little fibers that are on here catch onto the wood like as if you were getting a splinter and they rip them off so they damage the teak really badly but 
This brush doesn't have the fibers that are gonna catch. So what happens is you can go with the grain, with the brush, because it tickles in between all those little fibers on the wood um, and just cleans on the inside where it wouldn't be able to do it with a doodle bug. This is just like 100% make sure you've got everywhere within the tick. Next step, get rid of all the water. Squeegee or the deck squeegee comes in, just get rid of all the water, make sure it's nice and dry for the last and final step. Okay, the table now is, you can see it's clean, but it's also super wet, so you can't tell exactly how clean it is. It is super slippery, like there's still soap everywhere. You can see it, that's inside there if I rub it hard enough. You can actually see the soap still. It's also dark, it's quite a dark color now. So now comes in the last and final step, which is the, the vinegar step. You'll be able to see the difference very quickly. Ah. You can see exactly where I have applied and where I haven't applied vinegar. This is now no longer um, slippery at all, where this still is completely slippery. That to me is a pretty good example. By the way, in case you're wondering, that boat that's behind me there is exactly the same as this boat that's here. Obviously not the inside and stuff, but the size, the boat, the hull, everything is exactly the same. Time for a little before and after. Um, the table looks a million times better. A couple of little wet patches still where it's still drying um, and one or two stubborn oil marks, but it is a million, million, million times better. Quick little B-roll of what it looks like. Right, that's it guys. That's uh, that's how I clean teak on this boat anyway and how teak can be cleaned. Like I said, there are many ways of doing it. But the part that I really want to get to is the 10K giveaway and a full how-to yachting guide when it comes to getting involved in yachting on an absolute step-by-step -step basis. So I'm gonna start off with a giveaway. We're gonna be doing another video where I actually speak to um, a super yacht crew agent. In this case, I'll be talking to Blue Water Yachting, which like I said, is a um, training facility and a crew agency that I've actually dealt with before. They are the guys that have been awesome enough to give away a Powerboat Level 2 course to one of you guys watching this, or rather one of you that are subscribed. So like I said, we're gonna give a lot more detail uh, on that and also interview a crew agent with questions that you guys have asked me. So I'm I'm very excited to record that video with them and be able to actually share it with you guys so there's going to be more on that but right now what you need to be doing is hitting that subscribe button and just keeping on track with the future videos coming because all the giveaway details will be either on the link below like right now so have a look uh, or in future videos coming and the next thing that I really want to talk about um, that I pretty much responded to every single comment it's getting to the point now where I'm repeating myself a lot which is totally okay I really don't mind responding to you guys everybody wants to know how do you get into yachting how do I get the job where do I start and those those first like 10 steps from literally knowing nothing to having your first job in your first week on board I have addressed that I've created a document if you're keen and you want to know how there is a link down below that'll take you to my Salify account and I've charged you the price of a bill so I thought if you were to say hey Jared I'd love to meet with you and ask you a few questions I um, would take for granted that you would buy me a beer to have a chat about it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna charge the price of a beer for you to get a full how-to yachting guide from start to end for like the price of a beer so if you're keen on that and um, you'd really like like first-hand information on how to start all the way through to your first week on board down below is a link you can download the PDF it is the cheapest PDA course on how to that I know of full stop so I think a lot of them are like 20 bucks uh, $25 some of them are more some of them are a little less but this is my one directly from me to you on how to down below hit the link to so go and check it out and um, smash that subscribe button camera angle change my memory card just filled up but like I was saying I will be giving you the majority of everything free when it comes to information on yachting um, it's just the videos are going to be separate and in different forms and formats and times so if you're keen on buying me a beer there's a PDF uh, document, the link is down below. I'd really appreciate it and it's going to help you. I look forward to it and uh, we'll see you on the next video.